I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, Taurus. Now, when it comes to any of my readings, uh, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I also do your weekly journal reading for your zodiac sign, Taurus, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at any point uh but when uh it comes to any of my readings as well Taurus, i always ask for you to let me know in the comments below which card resonates with you because i'm nosy and i like to keep up with y'all with the comments and so let me know which card resonates and how and if you do find a card that resonates Taurus, uh i would appreciate it for you to give this video a like and subscribe because it just helped me out a lot and i always just appreciate when you guys take the extra time to do that for me and finally, Taurus, uh, this reading's here just to give you some food for thought, something for you to think about, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week. I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's ultimately your life to live, uh, not mine. So, with all that said, Taurus, let's get into your reading. We're going to start it out with the general energy of things with these two tarot cards. We have the Emperor card and the Four of Wands. Beautiful energy, really beautiful energy, Taurus, because with the Four of Wands, I mean, granted the Necronomicon deck doesn't really make it look all that romantic, but it is the 1111 card. It is what is viewed as from a tarot reader's perspective as the portal card, um, letting you know just like a close connection, right? That intimate connection coming together of people, right? Dare I say, um, this is kind of a good sign, I would say, a good omen, especially with this Emperor card. Someone's taking action, Taurus. I see forward movement here. And I know from your last uh, love reading, Taurus, uh, there was like a s sense of where you kind of had to uh, hit the road for some of your per uh, persons, where you kind of had to realize, you know, where it's just like they weren't valuing you enough Taurus, perhaps you felt like you were being taken for granted and it just really got to your head because you really cared about this connection right and so i with this four of wands and this emperor card i really just see someone and i see it as your person perhaps maybe it's you you know maybe it's you um someone having a very proactive energy someone that's taking this forward movement and being like let's get to this four of wands let's get to that portal and let's walk through that portal right so let's pull a um moon oracle card as well for this course before we get into the actual uh reading believe in the impossible blue moon so dare i say tauruses when i was going through those general energies with those two tarot cards some of you guys probably shook your head and went, mm -mm, velka this is, this is not my reading it's not my story they're not coming back here they're not going to be they're not going to pursue me i waited i told myself that for weeks months right honey uh i mean blue moon i mean this card says it all right i don't feel like i need to say too much about it i feel like it's self-explanatory you know have faith you know spirit has a spirit has their plan you know it's kind of letting you know that this, this is not over between y'all two if you, you if you feel like it's over you been judging by these cards um <laughs> it kind of confirms that so Taurus, I pulled a card for you, I pulled a card for them, and I pulled a card for the energy between y'all two. And I'm going to talk about your side first before I pull clarifiers. We have the Tower card in the reverse for you. Now, I love it when this card is in the reverse in this deck. I know for some of y'all, Tauruses, you probably hear the Tower card and you just internally cringe. You're like, oh, no. Uh, but in this deck, this Tower card is beautiful, especially when it's in the inverted, Taurus, because look here. This is like a little hidden gem here. You look in this tarot deck at this card, I guess. And th when the tower card is, you know, like the tower, it's like dramatic and all that. Woo, 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 right? You look at it and it's actually the coming together of two people through a bunch of chaos, right? And so what does the tower card even represent in general anyways? It's through a sudden shift, right? Through like a random bolt of lightning by chance, right? So it was very much so that energy, which makes sense as to why you would have that card telling you to believe in the impossible. 
Taurus, but um, you know, if you don't want to believe in me, honey, that's fine. You'll real, you'll come to. But when it happens, you come back to this video and let me know, Taurus. Um, their side of things, Four of Wands. This is what I was saying before. I really do feel like Taurus that they, it's on their side with the Emperor energy taking forward action towards you. Um, it is, if, if it isn't, if this storyline is in alignment with the last you versus them reading Taurus from last week, uh, I would say that this is a definite sign that they realize that they're taking you for granted if you chose to walk away and distance yourself. I see them realizing that you are the one that's getting away and they're going to actively try to get you back, right? Actively get you to this point of that 1111 of that portal, Taurus. And then we have the Page of Swords. So this is the energy between you two, Taurus. This is letting me know that communication has been the issue. Right? Even probably when, if there is any action that happens between y'all two, it probably is not going to be expressed that well. Right? Maybe if they do come back to us, you'll just speak from a place of hurt and you're just like, no, like, you da 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 da. And you just kick him to the curb, right? And then maybe from their side, they're just awful at explaining their emotions and just being like, no, I always cared about you, but didn't know how to express it. I mean, whatever their storyline is, right? This is Page of Swords. Taurus, all I can really say is just be aware that, um, Communication seems to be more the issue and not the actual feelings involved, right? Take that as you will, though. Let's get into the actual tarot side of things for you, Taurus. Uh, we're going to start with your tower card in the reverse for the clarifiers on that. <clears throat> Let's see. Back of the deck energy is Ace of Swords. So definitely, I do see you having something coming occurring to you of where it kind of puts you for a mind loop, where it's just like something does unexpected happen that really shifts your perspective, that just gives you something to think about that you weren't considering before, Taurus. So definitely, something's happening. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 something's rumbling. The actual clarifiers that I pulled for you, Taurus, um, for your tower card is the Five of Pentacles. So you definitely felt like you were left out in the cold, uh, Taurus, you definitely felt as if um, you weren't being appreciated and you were just in this place where probably you felt like a little bit of a fool for waiting so long, right? You probably um, now are in your feelings and you're just like, well, what, like, what's changed? Like, why is it? What is this? Is this just a game to you? Right? Maybe you feel like you're being breadcrumbed or just strung along just for their own amusement. And I, again, like, I can't. I mean, obviously, I don't know them personally, Taurus, so I can't just be like, okay, yeah, um, it's just like their own issues and what have you. I don't know their reasoning, but it seems like now that they want you. I mean, but we can still pull some clarifiers and see. Um, Four of Pentacles continues on with that energy where I do feel like you were just waiting a really long time because you saw the uh, you saw Taurus the potential in this connection you saw this and you're just like we can really do something with this and that's why you were just probably so invested for so long and that's probably why you had some hurt feelings um after the fact when you finally just move on because it's just like you finally realize or you just uh realized at that point it's just like this isn't worth it waiting anymore like you have you wanted to continue on with your life you didn't like what this connection was doing to you mentally perhaps um, and then we have this Knight of Cups coming in. Taurus, I really do see you being pursued. I really do see them coming in um, with something to say. Truly. I'm not just saying that just to like, whatever. Like, with you could look up the meaning of each of these cards and just use it as like a puzzle piece. That's why how I explain this, right? Um, intuition aside, like these cards set it up in such a way where it just looks like through a bunch of chaos, through um hurt feelings and all that you're being pursued and it just brings forth a beautiful connection again between y'all two which I I, I I enjoy i really like this i like how it's how the turn of events of things now i do want to just give a disclaimer to us we haven't gone on the other side of things and the other clarifiers but um 
And also, like, it may not be this week that the action happens, but it, this is because it is tarot. We are connecting from an energetic standpoint, right? Where things are, the intention is currently. The wheel card kind of summarizes that as well. Where it's just like the wheel can be, the wheel of fortune can turn either this way or that way. It's not set in stone, right? There's not, the future is never solid, but it just right now that the way the energy is going, it's the wheels are turning in this direction. Taurus. So just being honest, right? I don't want you to, I don't want to set up such a high standard um, for you to potentially be disappointed if something immediately doesn't happen this week, Taurus, full transparency. Uh, but let's go on their side of things with that four of wands. Taurus, remember, see what's up with them, what's going on in their head. All right, their cards came out. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So Taurus, full transparency. Like, I do see this as like, um, I'm not, I don't see the clarifiers yet, but I will, I won't be shocked if we see a knight, uh, card in there somewhere, like a knight of swords or cups or, um, well, we don't, we can't get cups, knight of, um, wands, but with this wheel of fortune, this is, it's kind of the, the, how do I make this sound without it sounding bad? Um, they're still, they're playing with the idea of it. They're, the, the motion is going here, but you know, they could end up spiraling. They could go back to their old ways where they didn't just like regress and go back to old cycles, right? But again, keep in mind, it has nothing to do with you. Um, it just shows to me right now, Taurus, that they're realizing, they're realizing the wheels are turning for them. And, oh, they have four clarifiers for them. So, uh, Taurus, you're gonna like this. I feel we have the hermit card coming in. So I feel like this, and especially this is what I was hinting at last year, last, again, I keep referencing you, you, this is a reading from last time, uh, Taurus, but this is definitely a, um, where this person had to do some introspection. They probably had to be put out, uh, be left alone for a while to realize the pain that they caused, right? With this 10 of swords coming in here, right? I do feel like they needed just some self-reflection. Um, they needed some type of wake up call to us and you just had to be the one to give it to them, right? But I do see them realizing what it is that they missed, right? They realized that the nine of cups with their nine of cups and the three of cups, they realize that their true happiness stems from with you. You know, it's almost like that kind of sappy saying of where it's just like them realizing that you're the, like, is only when they went without you to us that they realized that you were their whole world, you were their happiness, right? It's just that very much so that cheesy way, but it's just like, yeah, probably it's just like a person Taurus realizing like how much they probably actually hurt you. They didn't realize it until like, you stepped away and um, they're in this place of wanting to fix it and realizing like where it is that they messed up, right? How are you gonna handle that if they do pursue is the question. They have the fool card, you know, I feel like they are going to be, it makes sense. I really do feel like they are such a risk taker. And I feel like they view this as taking kind of a risk coming back towards you, Taurus. Um, but I do just see them honoring like what it is that they're feeling in their gut, right? I really just do see them being awakened to their feelings in this way. And they're willing to just commit to it and look like the fool. Maybe they probably feel like a fool on some level for letting you get away in the first place, Taurus, right? We have the Page of Swords coming in as the energy between y'all two, Taurus. So let's check this out, your final room. <clears throat> Overall, I really, en I, I don't know, Taurus, I personally enjoy this reading a lot. Um, I see this as like two human beings growing and just figuring out the way of the world. Um, seven or eight of cups. So yeah, definitely someone had to walk away as I was already saying, right? And I really don't feel like I have to go into too much explanation for this because I've been speaking in such a way as if like the eight of cups was here this entire time, Taurus. So we don't need to go into any more detail with that. I don't think you don't think so either. Yeah. So the actual clarifiers that we have for you, Taurus is the two of pentacles and i don't think I, I yeah i did say page of swords is the energy between y'all two uh we have the two of pentacles coming in here so it's a choice you know weighing out options right 
probably that's what's going to happen with you, Taurus. You're weighing out your options with things. It is uh, two, of, uh, two of Pentacles is that representation of chaos going on in the background as well. Um, so I feel like this pentacle energy comes in when you have that tower inverted moment that we talked about on your side of things, Taurus, remember? So, and I always enjoy it. This is so funny to me how they, they, these two always seem to follow each other no matter what. Seven of Swords coming in here. Again, it's kind of like the same representation of the two pentacles. Um, but more so in matters of the mind where you're just your mind is put through a loop you just really are caught off guard you don't know what to make of a situation you don't know how to handle a situation you don't know what choice to make you rack it through your brain and you're put in this position taurus because of the page of pentacles with the page of swords right both communication cards, both Page of Pentacles, like someone's extending out their pentacle to you, Page of Swords, talks about communication. Taurus, they're coming, someone's coming at you. Someone's coming at you with communication. Someone seems to definitely have their eye on you and their intention on pursuing you and connecting to you, with you in some type of capacity. Um, but I just get this feeling that you're not really prepared for it, especially with that blue moon coming in where it's like, be prepared for the impossible. Because it feels like some of you think, Taurus, that this is not, this is, this, that this reading is impossible. All right, High Priestess is in the reverse that fell out. So some of you guys are not listening. Well, well, that's presumptuous of me. I would say, let's just get in tap more with your intuition, Taurus. Uh, Listen to your in, uh, intuition. High Priestess card is a very guarded energy, um, weighing out decisions, and just listen to your gut feeling. Listen to what spirit has to say, Taurus. So that way, whatever decision you do make when it comes to handling the situation, you won't regret it later because you'll be listening to your intuition. All right, Taurus, that's the reading that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Taurus, be sure to uh, share this video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages as well. Until next time, I love you so much, Taurus. Bye.